So in the last video, we had migrated our application from Swift 2 to Swift 3. Now continuing the application using Swift 3, we're going to implement the search feature where we'll allow the user to follow other users. So in this particular part, what we'll do is when we click on the follow user button over here, it'll show up all the users from the database. We can filter the users by typing the name of the user. Once you have the user that you want, you can click on the user's name and you can go to the user's profile page. And you'll be able to see the user's tweets, medias, likes, follow the user, etc., which we'll build on in the next video. For this particular video, we'll concentrate only on implementing the search feature. So let's begin. So let's start by adding a table view controller to our storyboard. Control drag it to our storyboard over here. And let's link this add button to a new table view controller and say present modeling. Also, let's embed this table view controller into a navigation controller. Coming here to the table view controller, let's write find users. Also in the prototype cell, let's give it a type of identifier of cell and style should be subtitle. Now press command N to create a new file. Let's create a Cocoa Touch class of type UI table view controller and call it follow users table view controller and save that. Back on the main storyboard, let's set this class to the table view controller that we just created. So select the table view controller, go into the attributes and say follow users table view controller. Also, let's just add a button to the right which cancels this controller out and sends us back to a home view controller. So let's select this. Let's come here at the bottom, bar button item, drag it to the top. Let's select system item, stop, open up the split editor. Control drag from the cross button and create an action and call it dismiss follow users view table view connect that and here as always we'll just say dismiss animated bool which is true and completion will be nil let's run this out and see if it's working till now let's click on the add user button it opens up the find user if we click the cross it closes it now let's add the search controller to the follow users table view Come here, come to the follow users table view. Some of you might be tempted to try and use the search controller that we have over here at the bottom, which is search bar and search display controller and the search bar. But as of now, this has been deprecated and the only way that we can add the search bar is via code. So coming here, we'll create a variable called a constant called let search controller equal to UI search controller and in brackets, We'll give the search results controller as nil. So we've created a search controller without specifying a search results controller. What we're telling the application is that we want to use the parent controller, which is the follow users table view controller to display the search results and not display it in a separate controller. In case you wish to display it in a separate controller, you can specify the controller here in place of the nil. Now coming to the view did load, we'll add a few properties here. We'll say search controller dot search results updater is equal to self. And we'll say search controller dot dims background presentation equal to false. And we'll say defines presentation context equal to true. And we'll add it to the table view. We'll say table view dot table view header table header view is equal to search controller dot search bar. So I'll just walk you through this code. The search controller dot search results data is basically something that allows the class to know when the text inside the search bar is changed. For this, we'll also have to implement a protocol called the UI search results updating, which we'll just do shortly. The second line dims background during presentation 
basically by default the search controller dims the view anytime the user starts typing the search bar. It assumes that the search results are displayed on a separate view. But here we're displaying the results in the same view controller. That's why we don't want the background to be dimmed and we set it to false. The third line which says defines presentation context basically ensures that the search bar is only shown on this particular table view controller. And when we go to some other view, the search bar is removed. And lastly, we add the table view to the table header view using this line of code. As you can see, we're getting an error over here. That's because we have to implement the UI search results updating protocol. So UI search results updating. Now the error will move up as the UI search results updating requires a method to be implemented. The method it requires is update search results for search controller, UI search controller. Inside this basically we'll update the search results. So let's quickly try this out. We should be able to see the search bar. There we have it. The search bar is there. If we click on it, it nicely moves up. This is there by default. We cancel it. It comes back to the normal thing and we can come back. So now let's implement the functionality of the search bar. Let's open up the main storyboard first. And let's create an outlet for the table view. Let's call it follow users table view. Let's also import Firebase database because that's where we'll get all our users from. Now we'll create two variables here. One will be called users array. It'll be an array of type NS dictionary. And the other will be filtered users, which will also be an array of type NS dictionary. The first one users array will store all the users from our database. And the filtered users will be only the users that are filtered once we type in the search bar. We'll also create a reference to our database. We'll call it database ref is equal to fir database dot database dot reference. Now let's get all our users from the, our database. So we'll say database ref dot child go under the user profiles node. Under that we'll say query ordered by child and we'll order the results by the child node name we will say observe event type dot child added we'll say snapshot is the data that's returned coming here we'll say error and print, just print the error saying print error dot localized description here what we'll do is we'll store the snapshot that we've got into our users array variable that we created. So we we'll say self dot users array dot append. We'll say snapshot dot value as NS dictionary. We can't directly append the snapshot any longer because we need to tell Swift exactly what type of variable it is. And now we'll just insert the rows. So it is self dot follow users table view dot insert rows at inside the index path we'll say row and we'll say self dot users array dot count minus one and section we'll say is zero and the animation we'll say is automatic. So the self.usersarray.count-1 will basically insert the row at the bottom of our table. So now that we've got our users stored in our users array, we need to set up the other methods of our table view controller. We need to set up the number of sections, the number of rows in section, and the self forward index part method, which will display our table. But before we do that, let's create a method that will help us filter through the users depending on the text that the user adds in the search bar. So let's call that method filter content. It requires a parameter of search text of type string. We'll say self.filtered users is equal to self.users array dot filter user in. Basically, we'll go over each user in the self.users array 
and inside that we'll check if the name is equal to the search tag that the user has typed. So let's first store the user's name into a variable called into a constant called username. We'll go into the NS dictionary user and we'll first downcast it as a string. Then we'll return So first we get the username from the dictionary user by going into the name property we downcast that as a string and then if that name is contained in the search text then we return that users to the filtered users array and every time the content is filtered we need to just say table view dot reload data to reload the data of the table view now let's come to our other methods Number of sections, we'll say one. And a number of rows, let's get rid of this line. And we'll say, if search controller dot is active, and then search controller dot search bar dot text is not equal equal to, is not equal to an empty string, then return filtered users dot count else return self dot users array dot count so if the user is typing something only show the filtered users if the user is not typing anything return all the users next come to the self forward index path let's uncomment this and the user identifier that we had created was cell here again what we'll do is we'll create a constant called user of type ns dictionary and we'll copy this line of code which checks if the user is typing or not. So if the user is typing, we'll say let the particular user equal to filtered users index path dot row. And if the user is not typing, then we'll say user is equal to self dot users array index path dot row. And we'll basically set up the properties, which is cell dot text label dot text is equal to user. Go under the name property, downcast it as a string, and cell dot detail text label dot text is equal to user. Go into the handle property as a string, and then return the cell. Text label and detail text label come by default. From these, we don't need to create outlets for those. Now all our methods are set up. Just one thing, coming to the filter content method that we had created. Firstly, this should be filter. Secondly, this should be called every time the user types. So the code that for that is filter content, search text is the parameter, and we pass it self dot search controller dot search bar dot text. This will call this filter content method every time the user starts typing and give us the filtered users. Now let's run this and try this out. It should work. So coming here, we see all our users in our database and let's search now. As you can see, it's getting filtered by the name of the user. As of now, we can't click on these and go into a detail view. We'll cover that in the next video. I just want to show you a Firebase console once just in case there's some confusion about how the database looks. As you can see, we have the user profiles node inside that. We sorted the users by their name node and all our users are there. We have three users and we can see the three users over here. So I hope you guys like this video and try this out and you can always leave comments in this comment section for what kind of videos you'd like me to upload. We'll try and continue with this series in the future. Thanks, please like and subscribe.